Hello, I'm Paul Heyman, head teacher here at Westcliff High School for Girls. This video replaces the talk we would normally give to you at the parents' induction evening. And we very much hope that soon we'll be able to welcome your daughters to our school so that they can resume their normal education. With the current need to maintain social distancing, we've decided not to invite you in at this time, but we very much hope we can do so soon into the autumn term. Westcliff is a national teaching school and runs a number of important partnerships supporting teaching and learning in science and computing. Now I'd like to introduce some key staff to you. First, our deputy head teacher, Mrs. Bain. She has overall charge of our pastoral care and discipline systems, and her role is to coordinate pastoral care and the pastoral curriculum. Mrs. Dell is the learning manager for year seven, and she will be monitoring your daughter's progress and identifying any support needed. Mrs. Dell has made a video about her role, which I hope you will watch. Mrs. Camage is our pastoral support coordinator for years seven and eight. She deals with any issues the girls have on a daily basis. If you need to pass on any information, she is the right person to contact. Your daughter will have been allocated to a form and she should know who her form tutor is. As a rule, the form tutor will be her first port of call. The form tutors will build up a relationship with your daughter as they will meet twice each day. The form tutors have their own welcome videos for your daughter to watch. Now I want to mention our Parent Teacher Association led by Miss Miles. They will be in contact with you about ways you can support the school and engage in their activities. And finally, I want to introduce Mrs Locke. Mrs Locke is our fundraising manager and she will be in contact with you about our school improvement fund. Now these are the form tutors this year and hopefully you'll be able to see the videos from the form tutor for the form you've been allocated. We are looking forward to this being the start of a very important seven year partnership, during which time we will provide your daughter with a good quality education. And we hope to do that in close cooperation and consultation with you. We are looking forward to getting to know your daughters and involving them in the life of the school. I know that you will want to support your daughter during her time with us and support the school in what we do. We know that it's important to have an effective means of communication about how she is progressing. There will be frequent opportunities for information on how your daughter is doing through meetings and regular reports home. Our intention is to offer your daughter outstanding pastoral care, outstanding teaching, outstanding results, excellent peer support programmes and a whole range of opportunities. We will be working in partnership with you and with this there will be certain expectations that we will all share. We want our pupils to undertake their work with energy and enthusiasm and carry out their assignments to the best of their ability. We want them to get involved in a range of the extracurricular activities we provide, music, sport, lunchtime clubs, school trips etc. We hope that they will want to research some aspects of their work further using textbooks, the library, the internet, museum visits, etc. And we hope that they will want to take up roles of leadership within the school as form captains, members of the year or school council, and involvement in the life of their house. We expect our pupils to take responsibility for their own words and actions and socialise pleasantly with other children. Absolutely no bullying is tolerated. And we expect pupils to have respect for others. This includes conforming with the school's code of conduct and the anti-bullying policy. We have a number of pointers that we regard as important aspects of a child's time here. We expect regular attendance. You should know the governors will not authorise absence for holidays or any trip that includes a holiday element. Pupils to take a full part in lessons. That they get involved in extracurricular activities that they should ask for help in lessons if needed, that homework is undertaken each weekday evening in the time allotted, mainly without your help, that our pupils should take pride in their uniform, they should look smart 
and know they are representing the school on their journeys to and from school. And we look for your support for school events and that you will support your daughter in the activities she undertakes. During the year, we have a number of activity days. These days provide our students with the opportunity to go beyond the academic curriculum and gain wider and more interesting experiences. By setting this time aside, activities can take place without disrupting the teaching. After all, it's quite hard for everyone when half the class is away on the trip. So we try to ensure these days involve everyone. We also use them as an opportunity to develop enterprise skills and learning habits in the pupils. This aspect of our extended curriculum helps to grow the full academic potential of every pupil so they can become well-informed, reliable, responsible and competent young women ready to play a full role in all aspects of society. Now everyone's been allocated to a house and each year we have a house championship and every girl contributes to this through her attendance, her uniform, her involvement in clubs and activities and throughout the year, we have a range of events that involve competitions between the houses. And in year seven, this often starts with the spelling bee, as well as a range of sporting events. Now, this is an early warning. Um, in year nine, every girl in our school is expected to work towards their Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award. And this is another example of our extended curriculum and provides an important way for pupils to develop teamwork, resilience and leadership skills, and a commitment to supporting the wider community. Now, during my time here, we've made significant improvements to our facilities, which support the highest quality of education provision. This picture shows our sixth form common room areas, which includes the new part recently completed. And this is the front of the East Wing, which houses design and technology. Though the top floor isn't finished yet, we hope to finish it this year, when it will then house our art department. As a grammar school, we expect all our pupils to be able to benefit from an accelerated curriculum. We do make changes and are prepared to try new courses when we feel they're right for our students. All girls have the option of French or Spanish in year seven, and then take both languages in year eight. All girls in year nine have outdoor education on their timetable which helps to deliver the Duke of Edinburgh Award. We see personal, social, health, enterprise and citizenship education as a key part of each girl's education. And this is taught by a specialist team of teachers. All our pupils follow a two year Key Stage 3 course. They should find this straightforward as they come into our school with such high levels at Key Stage 2. And then during years 9 to 11, the girls will be studying for their GCSEs with three years instead of just two to maximize the opportunity for success. Now we use a range of key software here at school and these are the main ones that we expect our pupils to be using. All of them will be given their own logins to Office 365 for documents and emails. And all our staff use Google Classroom for setting work when remote teaching is taking place. This means that all their emails and work can be accessed anywhere with an internet connection. And all the parents are given logins to Broncom. This is a web-based portal that gives you online access to your daughter's reports and attendance data. Assessment across all subjects at regular intervals leads to the monitoring of pupil progress. Grades will be awarded, which follow the GCSE grading system. Our reports, called PTs or pupil tracking, also provide information about areas of celebration in your daughter's work, but also areas where we have concerns. All our teachers will find time to go through work with your daughter if they have some difficulty in their work. Each time there is a report, we review the progress made by each pupil, and we will provide additional support if we feel they are slipping behind in their work. We also provide specific support for SEND pupils and any EAL pupils who need help to access their higher language skills. Mrs. Dell and Mrs. Elman can be contacted about these two areas of support. Now this is the structure of the school day and we expect pupils to be in school before 8.35 and obviously we end the school day at 3.30.
Now at lunchtime, many girls will use the canteen, which provides an excellent service. And packed lunches are also eaten in the canteen or sandwich rooms. But we also have outdoor shelters with picnic tables. And all these areas provide an opportunity for social development. And there are also many clubs and societies organised during the lunch hour for your daughter to join as well. We have a wide range of peer support. Each year seven pupil is allocated a year eight older sister. There are many other ways pupils will look to support each other. Most of the extracurricular clubs take place at lunchtime. This list shows a wide range of different clubs that take place at the school, though they do change over time as our pupils change as well. Music plays an important part in the life of the school. There are opportunities to get involved through our vocal ensemble, songwriting club, the junior choir, the gospel choir, our orchestra, and the Woodwind Ensemble, to name just a few. There is a wide range of music tuition available, and Mrs. Daniels, our head of music, can be contacted to discuss any concerns you have over the arrangements for individual music tuition that you've requested. Please note that music tuition during years seven and eight take place during normal lesson times, with girls coming out of class for a short period of time. School productions here at Westlip have become really well known. Two years ago, we performed Memphis. Last year, we performed Legally Blonde. And this year, we performed Little Shop of Horrors. Our main way of sending general messages home is through a system called School Comms, which we'll ask you to join. Each week, there's a bulletin for parents which is sent home. It lists the week's events. And it also tells you about any letters that were issued for that week. The bulletin includes the menu on offer in the canteen. Our menu runs on a four week cycle. We also issue a regular newsletter to parents. And this is published on the website. Lots of information about the school, the pupils, important meetings and activities for pupils, parents and friends of the school. Please do download and read it. Parent Pay is the system we use so you can pay for trips, music lessons, etc. We also use this as a way to top up funds for pupils to purchase food in our canteen. Please can you put some money onto the Parent Pay account, ready for the start of next term. And that's what it looks like when you log in. This is what our website looks like. It has lots of drop downs with information about the school. Now you will have received a welcome pack which was issued as your daughter gained her place at the school. There is a lot to absorb and I do thank you for returning the forms as requested. A further information pack was sent out in the week beginning the 8th of June. I'm afraid there's a lot more to read and a few more documents to return. This also includes a booklet that's been prepared specially for the students. Please note that Mrs. Dell or Mrs. Kamidge will make contact with you where the need for medical or SEN support has been recommended by your daughter's primary school. And you'll note that we're also asking the girls to undertake two activities as summer holiday work. One is a piece of prose or a poem titled All About Me by way of pupils introducing themselves to each other. The other is a piece of artwork portraying their hobbies or what they've been doing since the lockdown. We do ask everyone if they would find a way to contribute towards our school improvement fund. Details of the school improvement fund are on this page and Mrs. Locke, our campaign coordinator, will be in contact with you about ways in which you can make contributions to that school improvement fund. It is a really important way for actually creating additional support and activities for our school. Now, assuming we do return in September to some form of normal schooling, we have made some very tentative plans for the way forward. The first few days will really just comprise of transition activities and then a range of other activities which allow the pupils to get to know the idea of the school and the way in which we do our learning here at Westcliff. So it just goes for me to wish you a good summer. We really hope we'll be able to see your daughters in September.